Hey guys, this is a generic person here, and I'm finally, after a very long time, back with another video. Let's go. But before we get to the video, I just want to say what's been going on lately. It's not bad, really. Let me just pull this up. So, the thing that's been going on is that, really, I've been just focusing on other stuff, including lines and all that. But you may notice my voice sounds a bit different. <clears throat> It's cause I'm, okay, before going any further, I am a bit sick, and, yeah, so, but I'm, I'm okay, I'm getting better, and yeah, so, alright, so about this channel, I haven't really been up to date much, and I've been focusing on other stuff, I wanna also try to make better stuff, better videos, but, I just always then get focused on something else, like lines or something. And this channel isn't dead. <clears throat> um, and I still like running a YouTube channel. It provides something for me to do. If I really don't have anything else. So, hopefully I can make a... Hopefully I'm going to make a video. I don't even know. I, I'm not even too sure if I'm going to do this. But hopefully I can make a video explaining more about what's happening later on. But for the meantime... Um, we're gonna, um, here's this video anyways. <laughs> Alright, so, we're gonna be trying out something called Open Indiana. And this is the wiki, and I've downloaded it from this website. What Open Indiana is that it's some Illumos, I think it's called. Correct me in the comments on how to pronounce it if I'm pronouncing it incorrectly. Um... So this is distribution is built around Illumos, which in turn is based on Open Solaris. So Open Solaris is basically um, let's pull up a Wikipedia, Wikipedia page. Sorry. So it's a discontinued OS, which is actually based on Solaris, and um. <coughs> So, pretty much, Illumos, however, is based on this. And then we have Open Indiana, which is a distribution based on, on it, from what I can find and tell. And, um, this, was, Open Solaris was discontinued when Oracle acquired some microsystems and all that. And, effectively, Solaris was then made back into a proprietary OS before, um, yeah. After the event, I don't even think this is. Hmm. Well, hmm. you know, so yep, that's a little thing. I c can be incorrect. Please correct me in, in the comments. But yeah, we're gonna try this and we're gonna do things a bit differently. Uh, Alright, <clears throat> so. Here's what we're gonna do, and thankfully, actually, Oracle VirtualBox, or just VirtualBox, it actually recognizes the type of system. Although, yes, the system lives either way. So, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna try this in a virtual, in the virtual machine first. Then we're gonna try it on actual hardware, but we're gonna do the VM first. So this is a, effectively part one of like a series. And of course, well, it always, the, for whatever reason, the VM window is always on the second monitor. It's such a dang nuisance. Now, I don't know if Open Indiana, Open Indiana, I don't know if it like supports EFI, so let's reboot this. Oh, it does! And also, we got like a little thing here which it's similar to if you've ever used FreeBSD before then this is a boot screen similar to it which um, we're gonna let's see one of the boot options CPI um, single user we can five the boats why not and then we got the I guess KMDB would be some like kernel thing. 
if I did the same for changes. All right. So let's go ahead and boot this thing up. And so, <coughs> ah, so yep, yeah, we're booting up. So, and then yes, this is graphical. I'm um, to select uh, the folder seven, and that is English. We are speaking in English, and here we go. So, <coughs> um, hopefully this thing boots up correctly. I'd be Sadden if it don't. Oh. 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 It's doing something. Ooh. A mouse cuss. Oh, well. Oh, 800 by 600. Yep. All right. So then we get this GNOME thing that's like, well, GNOME 2 thing, which is actually just, actually, it should be made. Uh, that's what I meant to say. What the heck? Oh, that was a bit of a glitch. Okay. Oh. Okay, we can't go further down than here. We just bugged that area. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna install this. So, we're gonna install Open Indiana. But first, can we, like, um, increase the resolution? Hardware displays. Oh, we can. Uh, what's the close? Oh, oh, what the? This has never happened before. Out of any OS I've tried, and yes, I've actually tried this OS before, but and I've probably realized this, but this actually has the native resolution, and I didn't. This is just from the CD itself. Unless it like just already has virtual. Oh yeah, we got to petition the disk. Dang it. Well, this is just already, you know, um, has the stuff already there. Like, it already just, you know, has the guest editions on board with it. But usually that may not always be the case. For whatever reason, G part it didn't start. start. Um, I'm gonna open. Oh, uh, I'm gonna open up a terminal when G parted. Okay. So we're gonna. Oh, mean only. Ah, oh, dang it. Well, uh, let's use the installer then. I don't really feel like doing a text-based fix of the disk. We really want to fix the. We don't want to petition. Oh, well, just use the whole disk. We're going to use this. And also, if you've used macOS, um, macOS X prior to version 10.10, .10, like 10.9, and all the way to the original version, if you've even got used that OS version that far, <clears throat> you notice this has a theme similar to Aqua. And I've, I actually love this theme. I love it. Just love it. This is an example window. Fresh rate, yes. Rotation, okay. Um, next. Well, guys. Um, United States. Correct. 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 Um, I'll just use AM. Alright, so I'm in the America, United States. Yeah. Los Angeles, actually. Oh. Alright, so we're going to, yep. And we're going to click next. This will do. And then, um, well, what should be the password? Install and this will take some time. All right, so we're back and apparently the installation is complete. So let's reboot. So, um, I said to reboot, but okay. Oh, there we go. Now I gotta remove the CD, but not quite yet. Wait. Um. It could be booting off the CD 
force it on turn mount. Okay. Um, that didn't really work. Alright, so apparently, um, yeah, so we get this little message. And so apparently, the CD works with EFI, UEFI, and all that, but the actual system when you install it doesn't actually work with UEFI. That's actually pretty interesting. Well, so while this thing boots up, we're mainly stuck on uh, this part. And here comes the X servo. Generic person. Incorrect password, oh no. That's totally misleading. That's extremely misleading. It was just the wrong username. And you can't log in as Woot. I thought I forgot my password because I swear that was my password. Now we can just set this thing up to our native resolution. Keep this configuration. One program as Woot. So. Oh, wait, it didn't get set? Or it expired? Huh, issue, there's an issue with the password. Well, yeah, I have to go through this. All right, so now I just gotta remember that. All right, mono VBX. So it's detecting it as VirtualBox. I'm actually quite amazed. But do we even need guest editions, or are they already are they already installed? I don't even know. But you know what? This is what we're gonna do. So we're gonna. Uh, can we? Do we have Git? No. All right. Try to install it. Alright. So it's gonna refresh. Okay, while that's doing that, um, I'm quite curious if we actually have VirtualBox guest editions already included with the system. But I won't imagine so. So we'll just insert that. Why did I open up Thunderbird? We got that. You have just inserted a meeting with software intended to automatically start. Don't actually run the auto prompt. Do nothing. Um. Oh, and this is an older version of Thunderbird. I can just tell because, yeah. Alright, um. We're gonna just open this with the file manager. Can I just open this with the file manager? Oh, that always is. Okay. The media has been detected as Unix software. Open auto run prompt. No, we're not doing that. Because we got Solaris editions here. <clears throat> then we also got that. I wonder if the. Oh, this. Okay. Caching catalogs. I'm gonna just open up another terminal. Or, you know what? Maybe. If I'm now press cancel, screw it. It's gonna ask for a password. The root password, I think. That's what it says, right? All right. So the uh, detects it as SunOS 5.11, but the Illumos project, Illumos November of whatever build information, I guess. Also, this cursor we can change. Let's actually change it. So, um, personal look and feel appearance. 
Actually, Dark Nimbus. This just sort of feels like it's a bit old. old. Oh, okay, so. Um, the places thing is automatically okay. Dark Nimbus. That doesn't really seem to be working that well. What the heck did I do? This one. But custom, no, what the? No, no! Nimbus. Yes, I love this thing. Alright, but the cursor, however, we're gonna need to customize this. Uh, we even got a little make cursor, but I'll just. Uh, the default point is this. We had a blank option here. That's always nice. Mate. Um, yeah, this is the main cursor. We got this, 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 or this will do. Let's just make this extremely big as heck. So. Well, we can't customize. Alright, you know what? Mate, black. black. That's going to be it. Alright, so we have a bit, a little bit of a better one, and installation of Sun, um, it was successful. Good. So I can safely close this, we can eject this actually, uh, eject. No, no, never I could, but mining data, do not, okay, and it seems like we have Git installed. Yep, so we do, so we're gonna go to our desktop, and we're gonna... Um, to see if we can compile lines. Oh yeah, that's why G plus GCC ain't probably installed. All right, so we got lines G plus plus GCC C plus plus. Why not C C C C probably wouldn't do anything. So I'm just gonna install that. So we're gonna try to see if we can compile lines on here. I have a high chance that I probably so we can. Why? Why not? Oh, oh! Well, let's install Boost first. If not, then I can just always copy the files after downloading them. So, um, well, that's gonna take some time. But in the meantime, let's explore around. We got uh, any other stuff? Uh, power statistics. Oh, pff. no, duh. It's for your power. Let's see if an AC thing. Uh, Basso, CD Ripple, and Sound. Glade is installed for whatever reason. Alright. We are conducting a user survey, else. <coughs> we need a window. Win window. Alright, it don't work. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, what else? Accessories? Do we have like a software manager? And it actually is installing Boost. I hope we get like the actual development files though. Internet. Uh, um, let's install software next. That slow? Oh my Jesus. At least it's just in the download stage so we can just control C. Uh, let's find some other software. Let's super tux card. Let's play a game. I doubt it'll actually work that well. Oh. Or uh, we can try to like see if we can even, I don't know, use the Linux version on this thing. I don't even know if it's available, but. And we have a little bit of differences. We got X, X, um, Zen has been replaced for whatever reason with KVM. Okay. Sun Studio has been replaced with GCC. 
Um, Open to labs has been into just oh I use LAM, OS Net, which is closed with Illumos Gate. It's more like stuff we don't even need to know. Well, stuff we probably won't even use, but um, super text card. Um. Linux, perhaps this isn't really Linux, but let's just see if we let's just try at least. All right. In the meantime, perhaps I should just let it. Then we can just let that go, and let's see. Let's try this again. But okay. <clears throat> Um, while it does that, we can attempt to try to play Super Tux Scott and our preferences. And let's also customize Firefox because we don't really have that much else to do. So, um, Tidal Bar, no. Yo, what the heck? The buttons look thieves. They look <laughs> So. Um, now we're not downloads. Super Tux Scott, we need to extract you. Uh, extract here. Oh, there's our progress. I mean, this, I guess, should have three CPU cores, is my guess. <clears throat> well, that's still going. Which am I going to be patient enough for? If it still says reading it, then I think I'm a. No, let's cancel all this. Um, let's try to do something else. Got uh, downloads. Let's actually open up with an archive manager. But if it's still just gonna be reading for a dang long time, then uh, I feel a bit too lazy to write because yeah. Oh, that was my grandpa. All right. I think I pronounced it correctly. Uh, let's go to our YouTube page. I have to really much search for us though. Because I don't really. Is this dude? Please, geez, no, I don't want that. The play. So we've been able to view this. <coughs> A look at lines. Um, lines version three. Oh, well, it's about to be released. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Let's see if we can install mind test. Cause why not? Windows, Android. Where's the Linux? Oh yeah, it's in the packages. Unless, oh, for whatever reason, it's in the open open Indiana side. If if it's in the open in the end repositories, I'd be sort of shocked because I wouldn't really I don't really expect that, but I don't think so. Refreshing the catalog. I thought you've already done that like several times. Oh well, nope, it ain't there. I don't really have a mind test account. Uh, Minecraft, sorry. We see Scotty's on the computer, and we got Scotty Tech Web Computers, I guess. Uh, what? Wait. All right. Um. Okay. What should we do? I really don't know what we can do. Um, well, yep, that's a look at Open Indiana. We can try to install Boost, I guess. Alright, so while I get Boost installed, y'all can just do some in the meantime. <clears throat> I feel too lazy to go to the other monitor and to just turn off OBS. I'm bringing it to this monitor. Alright, so I'm gonna just, yep. While boost installs, um, you will see the next part. 
Right, well, <clears throat> um, so, boost did install, but then I got too lazy to make lines, so, alright, but there is some I do want to try, I think D-Trace is installed, right, alright, so, wait, there's some that I noticed, I you so see, alright, so, D-Trace, um what some like this? I have no idea. Um because I remember it's this. I have no idea, I forgot. But it was a way to crash the system. Uh I don't know, let's try that. I don't have I have no idea. But <clears throat> um what's a way to crash the system? To cause like a kind of panic. Uh well I already have one, but perhaps task manager. Alright, <clears throat> just kill this. I feel too lazy. A super user. And the mate system monitor crashed, alright. Let's kill this. In process in the process and kill and kill crash system crash okay <clears throat> oh we even got the process ID except I think the system monitor crashed Except that we have no such file or directory errors here. That's, uh, that sucks. Perhaps I can just kill it by PID. Oh uh, yeah, force quit. <laughs> um, <clears throat> which we're just gonna kill the process in it let's just um pseudo kill id is one and it should have been killed and along with all right for so it didn't get killed Usage kill all signal. Man kill all. What? <clears throat> uh, signal two. So basically, that's an I. Th I think it was the interrupt signal because I, I have where the stuff about signals in programming anyways um but that's on I think just Linux I don't know we can search up the different signals but what's a signal segmentation fault let's let's just kill everything with the segmentation fault um Like, let's just send the segmentation file out, and then they can't be able to recover. Uh, 
list list of signals Linux. Um, all right, I'm choosing this because <clears throat> I need to kill everything with signal segmentation fault. Paging. That's not really good. How do you shouldn't use this one? Um, Sig Sev Sig V. Like, what status code is this? Like, what? What's the number? Was the number? Was the number? <clears throat> Hang up terminal window up. Oh, that's. Oh, wait. What? I I I put number two right. That's like interrupt. That's the interrupt signal. Um, one. Oh well, sig int. Aha! Here we go. What's I think it's signal. Oh, that's um IOT trap. Four point two BSD. Flow and point kill can't be caught or ignored. That's sig nine. <clears throat> I don't really believe that's in some certain cases. Um. Wait, broken pipe. Yeah, but where's signal? Signal, oh yeah, sig exceed. Oh wait, we could do H top and kill termination stack fall. Oh, it's a stop. <clears throat> it's never just. It's not really there. Let's hang up. Um, number, okay, that's 11, but then, oh, uh, this is segmentation fault, all right, so we're going to kill everything with the segmentation fault, all right, in three, two, one, oh, typo, all right, in three, two, one, wait, all right, And everything just comes up again. Fine then, what's the kill signal? If it can't, well, wait, then what? Then, alright, it's not killing the system process. Fine. I'm gonna use HTOP then. HTOP. Alright, let's install it then. <clears throat> Let's restore our previous session as well. So I um, restore. Because I need like um, sig sig v. Alright. So I use a defined signal. <clears throat> huh. I want to look into that. And that'll probably take a heck of a long time. Well. Okay, well, alright. Um, alright, so we try to crash the system, we only have some, a certain amount of luck. Oh, uh, well, I ain't. Well, okay, that's pretty much it to explore. Oh, no, no, I don't want to log it, I want to shut down the system. That's pretty much all there is to explore. Um, so we're just gonna. Then. And for whatever reason, you just leave it there. Like, never gets a spite here, and it is shutting down. But, yeah. 
Alright, that's some stuff that I'm editing. Alright, so well that's pretty much it for there to be for there to be explored. Um I'ma just Alright, so well that's it. <clears throat> Hopefully it's a good video for you guys. Hopefully you like it to some degree. And if you like the video, please like, comment, subscribe, etc. And I know I really haven't been posting videos lately, but I think I hope that this is one video y'all would like. So hopefully y'all like this video. And yep. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.